Hello everyone, you all welcome back again to Worry Get Channel. Yes, I'm passionate about exploring Nigeria's rich and diverse culture and showcasing the unique traditions and custom of our various ethnic groups. In today's video, I'll be exploring the fascinating world of shift titles in the Great Bini Kingdom. Yeah, so I will explore the roles and the traditions of these titles, the process of conferring them, and their importance in Benin culture. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating insights into Nigeria's cultural heritage. So let's get started. The shift Taisi title. First of all, before I go into this history, this is based on my research, okay? So I know a lot of you, you know more than this, so do not forget to put it in the comment section. So the shift I see title of the Great Bene Kingdom, they are a vital part of the region's cultural uh, heritage. This title steeped in centuries of tradition. And they are exclusively conferred by the Oba of Benin. The Oba holds the sole authority to grant and create these prestigious titles, which are categorized into hereditary and no hereditary titles. So let's take the first one. Hereditary titles, they are typically passed down through generations from father to eldest surviving son. This practice ensures the continuity of family legacy and honors to those who have served the kingdom. Traditionally, the Oba bestows these titles upon the successor only after the funeral rites of the previous title order are completed. This process underscores the respect for ancestors and the importance of familiar lineage in Bini culture. So guys, I'll be taking the second title, which is the non-hereditary titles. So when we talk about the non-hereditary titles, they are titles that are awarded based on merit rather than lineage. The Oba confer these titles upon individuals who have demonstrated loyalty and faithful service to the throne and the community at large. The Oba also has the discretion to create new titles, which can be granted either upon request or as a voluntary honor. Additionally, the Oba can elevate an existing title order to a higher rank, recognizing their continued service and contributions to the society. So guys, so in this next phase, I'll be talking about the conferment of titles in Bene Kingdom. The process of conferring a title involves a series of traditional rituals. So initially, the Oba sent messengers to inform the receiver of the honor. Later that night, the messenger they then return back to the Oba and the leader calls the receiver's name four times. On the fourth call, 
the receiver kneels down and responds with Ayo. which means maybe um let it be so the second in command there announces the new title customary gifts are exchanged and two days later the receiver visits the palace to express gratitude to the oba so let's talk about the confirmation of titles you know before someone can even exercise the authority over any title that's been given to them guys it has to be confirmed publicly so public confirmation of all titles whether hereditary or no hereditary is necessary before the title holders can fully enjoy their rights and privileges so these ceremonies they usually occur in the oba's palace specifically in the area known as ugwa ozwola or another maybe suitable location within the oba palace after that, the don't forget before I I finish this history, I won't forget to mention that the Oba personally attend this event. It's often accompanied by his wives, maybe members of the royal family, the various Bini chiefs, and the general public. So, guys, I don't know what you think about this video about the chieftaincy title of the great Bini kingdom in my next video i will be telling you more about the hereditary and non-hereditary titles in the great Bini kingdom because we know some of the uh, people that have those posts like for example the hereditary titles one of them is the iyashe or iyase i don't know how you often pronounce it iyashe of Bini, the Prime Minister of Bini Kingdom. We have a Zomo of Bini. That is the high-ranking military and administrative official. So we have so many of them. So in my next video, we'll be looking uh, into this various one and I'll be telling you the meaning of each and every title that they hold in the Bini kingdom so guys i don't know what you think about this video pardon my pronunciation if you enjoy watching this video please drop what you know about this topic in the comment section don't forget to like share and also subscribe to worry get channel for more interesting content like this thank you so much guys for watching i will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.